friends, it's Julie. I thought I would just take the opportunity to um, update you on how my experiment is going with the red and amber light therapy plus the green that follows it. I will put, if you haven't seen the original video, I'll put a link to it right here. Um, basically, I've been using the red and amber for a while now and it has been keeping my flare-ups under control. It has been keeping the redness, um, it brought the redness down to a certain amount but I had been kind of discussing with some other people um, the whole concept of light therapy and things like that, and we got to talking, and it looks like we kind of came up with a little theory that green light might help to get rid of some of the permanent redness that's on my face, or, well, that's on anybody's face that has um, permanent redness from rosacea, so I thought that I would test that out and just see how it would go um, on my own face. So it's, I'm trying to do it as scientifically as I can. Um, I did do a video on the actual method I've been using. I will put a link to that right here. So now it has been, I'm not sure how many days. I didn't write that down before the video, but I'll put that somewhere on the screen, um, how long it's been and how many days. I did miss a day. I missed it about two weeks in, and um, then I hopped right back on and got back to it. But I thought I would just show you um, my face and what it looks like now. In the original video I did show a picture of my face so now I'm showing you live what it looks like. So as you can see there is still the redness, there is still the the sort of empty band here like it, it just stops right there for whatever reason like the the mask of redness seems to go there and then stop right there and then it comes down um it doesn't seem to like the redness that's on my nose right here that's just from my glasses sitting on on my nose that's exactly where they go but um yeah i do have a little bit of um it looks to me like pimples but it's not acting like the pustules or the papules um, that normally come with rosacea, so I don't know if it's just that the rest of it's fading out and these little dots have stayed a little bit brighter, or what exactly those are. They, I do look a little bit spotty now, but they're, they don't look like the normal ones that come with my rosacea, so if you have any thoughts on that, then um, please share it in the comments below. I think it just could be, I think the redness is fading, but it's not fading evenly, so I'm hoping it'll just all continue to fade. Um, to my relief, um, I do think that it is fading, and to my relief, I had thought that there might be some little uh, veining and like the little, whatever they're called, the um, little capillaries that would that start showing up when the, the vibrant redness kind of went down. I thought they would stand out more, and it turns out there aren't any under there, so that was quite a relief. And you can see um, my freckles are still showing through right here and here where they had, they originally revealed themselves when I was using the dual care for the first time. So that was kind of funny and they're, they're still there. So yeah, so, um, that's the progress so far. I'm finding it very easy to do. Um, instead of doing the old school one, two, like three different, um, sides that I had been doing when I originally got the dual care, I'm just doing this side and this side. Instead of doing it straight on from the side, I'm doing it kind of diagonally from the front so that I can cover, because it's just this much of my face and then this much of my face that I'm actually trying to treat. Um, down the middle for me is totally fine because I don't have it. I'm fortunate I don't have it on my nose and chin. So I thought that I would just update you on the progress and tell you that that's how it's going so far. It does seem to be doing some good things. I think that it's the green light doing it. Um, I don't know why it would be the red and amber doing um, more suddenly than it had been since I've been us using it previously, but um, whatever it is, whether it's the red, amber, and green together, or if it's the fact that I'm following it up with the green, um, that seems to be, it seems to be fading it a little bit. It's definitely not a huge dramatic fade so far, but then I'm not done the entire three months either. I'm not even close. Um, also, I thought I would point out, um, on the super hot days that I had been using um, the light therapy, when I did the red and amber, um, because I'm trying to do it pretty close, I'm doing it between six and seven inches away from my face, um, because I, I'm doing that because the test is really to see, I know that some people flare up after red. I don't really, I did back when I was doing red on its own, but with the red and amber combination, I don't seem to have that problem. So I've been holding it about as close as I'm comfortable doing to try to almost promote the reaction from the light or the heat from the actual bulb itself, which is very mild, but it's there. And for some people, it doesn't take much. Yeah, so I've been trying to do that very closely. I did find that um, 
I started to react a little bit from having it very, very close. Um, but if I had a, an oscillating fan on in front of me, that seemed to be enough. So I don't think it was from the light. I think it was from the heat from the bulb. Um, that seemed to be enough to take it away. But um, that's because it was a super hot day already. I think it was 30-something degrees Celsius when I was doing it. Um, it doesn't seem to be doing it now. Um, and the green light uh, took away whatever extra redness the light was causing that the oscillating fan didn't um, didn't ease off. So I did find that if, if you do struggle with, um, if you're using red or using red or amber, try putting a fan on because it might actually be your heat from the light itself, from the lamp, and not the actual wavelengths that are causing you to flare up a little bit. It's worth trying anyway if you've been having problems with that. Otherwise, um, the green does seem to relax that on my face. I don't know if that would happen with everybody's. But, um, and it doesn't mean that you have to get the, the light that I have. There are other green light products out there as well, but um, I just happen to like that one brand because I'm comfortable with it. And um, I've used quite a few of their products now. But yeah, so um, that's how it's going so far. None of this is scientific or conclusive, and just because it's worked for me, it doesn't mean it'll work for everybody. But um, I thought that I would just share the update because I'm hoping it's interesting for people. I'm hoping that it'll help you understand light therapy a little bit more through me. Um, and help you to decide whether or not it's right for you. It'll at least give you something to talk about with your doctor or dermatologist. Yeah, so I hope you liked this video. I hope it helped you. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, I make videos every Sunday and Thursday, so please subscribe to my channel. And other than that, I will see you next time.